Oh man, that survivor's guilt kind of thing with Sam, that was that was actually a really good conversation. Do I still hey, now funny stuff with that boost pack and the flight traffic as it is. Hey, can I talk to you? A visitor? Mm hmm I have all the company I need. I appreciate that, but um that is the single lone no. I know you've talked to the keeper. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. I never can make heads or tails of these guys. Yeah, we'll the try. great serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. He spoke of a pilgrim, though. I need to know more about him. It would be really helpful if you told us about it. If that even matters in the slightest to you. Yes, I have spoken to your keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him. And then you will leave me. Okay. Jinan Varun meets the unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the great serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the unbeliever down, but the unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the great serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan. The unbeliever says, remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. I need to know the meaning of the word unity. Do you know anything? I have heard of no such thing. If it exists, it is a shadow that the great serpent casts to deceive the faithless. I think I understand. Thank you. Then we are done. Leave me. Okay. Some of the stuff is starting to make sense. Maybe. Hello. Goodbye. I wonder if I can just fast travel to the uh, the house now. Oh, this is really interesting, though. I like the way I'm getting this lore, though. Like, it wasn't like the keeper just like droned on about it or anything. This is like good honest like we're just learning as we go kind of thing yes i think that i'm going to the right spot it looks pretty close to where we're going nope that's literally the spaceport mm. uh is this that's residential commercial i think the commercial is a good spot well the lodge would be better i probably should have gone to the lodge that's fine it's fine Okay. This way. So I wonder if you know, every... I went to chef school. Another one who had gone to chef school and then ended up this way. I wonder if everybody's going to have conversations with me over this or if it's just, like, who you I picked. I feel... Like, to, to survive. <laughs> hmm. I still feel bad about Sarah Get dying. Out, Can you smell the rampant capitalism? <laughs> Sam. Okay. So now let's have the keeper put it all in place. Kind of tie it all. House Faroon. Yeah. Really don't know much about them. I think that's how they like it. I do too. Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories? Like we thought. The Enlightened used the word second and two. Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? Um, she said Janan fought four times over 120 days. If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Yeah, in the story, the Pilgrim contemplates infinite addendum. Yes. What he added to infinity. 
Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. <laughs> in dumb. That's the name of a star system. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum, at 4 and 120. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. I have to go. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Uh, it's something sacred out there, bringing everything together. Only total conviction will bring us the truth. We're being tested. It's just a word, and I need to take responsibility for finding it, not pray. Oh, I'm torn between one and two. There's something sacred out there, bringing everything together. It's just a word, and I need to take responsibility for finding it, not pray. I think we're going with that. And once you know, what will you do? Even the most objective scientist holds a belief that observation itself will be of benefit to humanity. You will be taking a similar part of yourself with you when you find the answer. Will that not color your perception of it? It will. Um, how is talking about the unknown supposed to help that doesn't give me a license to define unity beforehand? The benefit of science is that a person's thoughts can be tested. It doesn't give me license to define it beforehand. So you're committed to keeping yourself from seeing unity as anything other than a rational objective, a goal you're bound to reach. I know belief is kind of your job, but usually the scientific answer is the right answer. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. Thank you. Actually, it was enlightening speaking to you. As odd as that might sound. I actually really enjoyed that. That was really good conversation. That was like... You're seeing three vastly different points of view and you're able to have like a rational, calm discussion about it. And there was no yelling, no throwing, no nothing. And that, I don't know, that's just, that was really well done. Let's do this. Let's go. I'm so excited to see this. Like this. Oh, let's do this. Oh, where are we going? Is it just Sam and I on the ship? I don't know if we have anybody on the ship now. I should pro I should probably get some more people back on the ship. All right. I probably need a spacesuit. Is Cora gonna be okay? You think on the ship, Sam? Okay. Just gonna hustle. As ah, leave it alone. Wait, what is that? You know what's interesting? No one, at least not there. These are structures, though, not anomalies. You'd kind of expect if this had to do with the artifact, you'd find anomalies on here. But you don't. Hmm. Or at least I haven't yet. And normally, you'd find them by now. 
structure. Wait, what was that? Life, life signs? Huh. Well, this place might be something to come back to in the future. Oh, what's that? Did we... Yeah, that's a structure. Uh, and I, you can't build an outpost here. Interesting. What is... Okay, getting close. Whoa, what is this? Is it this camp that I need? Yeah. Okay. So it's somebody's camp. So here's the crux of my troubles. To accomplish anything, I need to work with other people. I need assistance, I need workers, I need hands. As we work together, they inevitably ask questions and I can never help talking. It starts innocently enough. They want to understand how someone who believes in science can also believe in the divine. Or they have their own misunderstandings instilled by some borderline religious remnant. My weakness is my inability to let alone. I want them to understand, so I try, and gently as I might, to nudge their minds along the right path. Then there are follow-ups and followings. The trouble is that I genuinely care for these people. It'd be so much easier if I didn't. Uh. Hey, you picking up something? Eh, maybe. How do I get in here, Sam? Sam, whose writings are these? Ah, ah in here. Uh, oh. At last, a bit of peace. A piece of peace. Is that anything? Is that funny? Why am I trying to be funny? Have they driven me mad at last? Is there a difference between writing to myself and talking to myself? The former certainly seems more acceptable than the latter. I recall again that my mind is my own, and that even if it only exists, that is sufficient for me to believe in everything else. The unity has restored me once more. This time I act alone, for now. Myself is a formidable opponent. I should have expected as much, but vanity is thankfully not among my vices. Regardless, it turns our time spent in solitude is, in my case, time with a very sick man, or whatever it is I've become. I don't like this person. What happened to them? Today, in a soft voice, my assistant asked me if there was anything above the unity. It was all I could do to keep from shouting that I could scarcely comprehend the misunderstanding that it would lead to such a question. It was asked honestly, and I answered as best I could. But even if I, if even my closest confidant here can fail to grasp the most basic of these truths, why am I bothering to explain any of them? Every word that drops from my mouth gets gobbled up, misheard and misremembered, misunderstood and mistranslated before I can issue the slightest clarification. People are necessary, but people are madness. I attempted to withdraw, to go off alone, to commune with unity in my own way. They followed, of course. Of course they followed. Wait, what is this? Blue what formal wear? Okay, actually that's kind of cool. I think I've seen that before a time or two. Alright, so... Trying to explain unity was pretty much driving them mad. Because the concept couldn't be grasped by everybody that they were trying to teach it to. But they were talking about humans as if they weren't human themselves. So what are they? Starborn? Something else? Huh. The credulous simplicity of the mundane humans never ceases to amaze me. My worst instinct, the evil spirit, draw me towards a form of contempt for them, but I remember that I am privy to that which they are not. I cannot and should not judge them for a lack of vision when I know very well the blinders which obscure their sight. I once wore them myself, after all. I hope for their sake that they may someday understand. For my sake, I wish to be left alone. Oh no, this is getting good. I find myself thinking about his various pasts and my possible futures. I imagine continuing on the road, acquiring more power, more knowledge, more development of myself. 
I imagine passing through once more to another world to begin the process anew. What is not notable here, that road does not does seem gratifying. Every step is one intrinsic reward, and I feel myself anticipating the pleasures and seeing a more contented version of myself in that future. Then, for the sake of considering all possibilities, I imagine if I took a different path, if I stopped running, stopped seeking to gather my own power, if I instead embraced the twinges of compassion I feel in my heart, let myself care for the people who seem to gather about me wherever I try to work, if I simply lived and taught and perhaps brought others to the light and died. That road also seems gratifying. Also, I also see a contented version of myself in that future. Here's the difference, though. When I stop thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feeling endures. There is something more sustaining about it, more fulfilling. I don't know what this difference signifies, but I am grateful for the time I've taken to notice it. Okay. If you came seeking the right answers, you'll know the right question to ask. What is the unity? I return your question with a question. You have read my writings. What is the burden of people? People are mess necessary, but people are madness. Who is your most formidable opponent? Myself. Where does enduring contentment come from? In growing, becoming better, stronger? In stopping and embracing compassion? You came here seeking the true meaning of unity. If you still wish to find it, there is one final piece of myself in the next room. I found my own answer a long time ago, but not in the way I was expecting. I hope your journey gives you the truth. I was literally expecting potentially a dead body just sitting here. It's like whoever it was left me... gifts? I think they knew I liked ramen. Uh, okay. The Pilgrim's final writing. I don't know what the correct answer is. I might never. Increasingly, though, I am comfortable with not knowing. The more I reflect on being here in this world, in this time, the more I think it is precisely where I need to be. This time will be different. I, it won't be about me, so I won't have to run. I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name. It can be something beneficial. I can be something beneficial. I'm leaving behind that other person. This world has no place for him. Let him die. Let me live to enlighten the blessed universe before me. You have found the end of my journey, but to know everything, you must find its beginning. On Hyla 2, the island hides the scorpion, and the scorpion's sting hides the truth. Sam, what does all this Today's mean? Today's a peach of a day. Because of you. <sighs> Sam, it sounds like there were multiple parts of him. Ish. And, and now we're finding, like, is something about... Okay, I kind of, I, I kind of think I see where this is headed, but at the same time, I don't know if I see where this is headed. So we're not gonna, we're not, we're not gonna speculate until, until we get all the information we need. All right, Sam. Okay, I don't need. Apparently, this is safe for us. Do we have new outfits? I'm so glad we got to keep the pilgrim. What is this? 45 caliber. Let's use it for a bit. I don't think I've ever used this before. Grin, grin. I'm going to take off your uh, suit for a bit. Okay. Let's do this, Sam. All right. Gravity here feels relatively normal. Those questions were interesting, though. I kind of, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I can't wait to go back through the footage because I edit. So in case you don't know, I edit all these episodes. Like I just like to kind of get rid of like the dead like air, like kind of when I'm like fast traveling or like going through inventory, stuff like that sometimes. But also I, I enjoy it because there's some stuff that I kind of miss, I feel like. And this time I especially um, am excited. 
because I want to like reread all that and like the questions that I got asked. So am I supposed to just jump over? Okay, so I think we're healing. So now let's try this. And now jump. I think we're just going to basically uh, hop our way because I got the protection regen happening. And we got the, the, the jet pack that helps. Uh, so yeah, that apparently this is this is what I'm doing. Is this the smart idea? No, probably not. Does it matter? Also, no. If I get to where I'm going, is there probably a much better way? And somebody in the comments is gonna let me know. Probably. But if it gets the job done, does it matter? No, not at all. Oh no, big bugs. Are they like scorpions. Those ruins. They look ancient. Vladimir would go nuts for this. Barrett, too. I know. No. They're docile? Okay. Hello? Like, I'm not gonna just outright. Wait. They're bowing? They're waiting for somebody. What the heck? Like, if you kind of walk that, which I kind of think that you were meant to walk this, like, straight through. It's like it was somebody's home. Can I scan them? Okay. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I wish I could talk to you. Okay, before we do this, Big safe. Hey, Sam. You ready? Did I activate it? I think. Oh, it's a puzzle? Oh, um, okay. I didn't realize. Uh. Um. Is it, is it the way that they are? Hold on, so it'd be one, two, what did it say? Hold on. Oh, no, the truth. And the scorpion sting. Oh, the stinger. Um, the stinger would be this, right? So. So this. Right, and then you need to go down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I went the wrong way. It's probably easier to do in first person. I'm not going to lie. Down. Uh, down. And then over, over. Maybe up one. Okay, I was right. Go to the last star of the Scorpius constellation. Oh my gosh, that's such a far way to travel. Okay. We'll jump here, and then we'll jump the other way. And then we'll jump the rest of the way, rather. This. Uh, jump. I love this grab drive. So nice. I love this ship. I'm Hello, so happy stranger. we did. Bye! Bye! Sorry, Grandma! I think that was Grandma, right? If you, by the way, if Grandma talks to you uh, and invites you over for dinner, What? I knew I made the right choice in letting you go. You're the pilgrim. 
What do you mean? I wanted to find the true meaning of unity. I'll begin the docking procedures. with this oh now i'm curious so is the emissary the pilgrim or is the hunter the pilgrim or neither of these the pilgrim but answers from the pilgrim oh this is gonna be interesting 